Texas, BC News, all that stuff, man. Bro, let me ask y'all a question. Why for y'all can't come through for me like this on every single video, bro? Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna hook y'all up with this stuff, and we gonna do the drawing today, man. Let me tell y'all, I'm gonna give y'all some stats from the last video because y'all blew me away. Y'all killed that video. Look at this, bro. Like, why can't we do this literally, like, every time? Because it starts, it, we can do it every time, and it starts with you. Look. Uh, 19,000 views, 1.3 thousand likes, 750 plus comments. I read every one. I liked all of them, man. I appreciate y'all boys coming through showing love because I wasn't able to put up a video yesterday. I had to go off to a little work retreat. I was out there with the boy Tysino, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, we was a couple of sheets to the wind and everything. I'm talking about we was out there. We was out there chilling, man. But look, listen, bro. Listen. Let's keep that train going, bro. I want to keep this channel going. I want to keep everything going. I want to keep giving y'all VC, free VC, everything like that. Like I said, the drawing is Friday. This is the last video that you're going to have to like in order to, to get entered in the drawing. If you haven't gone back, I'm going to choose a random video from this week. It's probably going to be that Starlito Buttermilk Raisin with Randoms video that I'm going to choose. So I'm giving you a hint right now. If you have not watched that video, go back, like the video. Comment on the video and pretty much every video this week because we're gonna choose a random one. But it's probably gonna be that Starlito Buttermilk because that's the one that showed me who really rocks with your boy, man. Speaking of rocking with your boy, the uh, oh, hold on, hold on. I need you guys. I love you guys. Please, I need y'all, man. We need y'all to get to closer to that also oh coveted 100K because they ain't rocking with your boy right now. And I, but y'all are. I need y'all, man. Love each and every last one of y'all. Y'all like my second family, man. Y'all guys are the reason that I do this, that I'm here, and that I say every day, good afternoon! It ain't morning. Good afternoon, 2K. Hey, we're going to call this 2K Daily, man. Update, man. Listen, bro. The boy running 2K, he just put it out there straight up. First logo show, first logo show tomorrow. Who's up? Obviously, y'all know everybody that went to bat for your boy, Pretty Loves Pink and all that good stuff, man. And then uh, Corey SA also says, I wanted to remind all NBA 2K20, I mean, NBA 2K creators about some logo show information and etiquette. We only give, we only give generally 15 to 20 minutes, get, you know, 15 to 20 minutes per show. Uh, we want to highlight people on the show and vet them through an internal process. These take dev. Uh, these take dev work too. So we we're we're limited. Be patient. Pretty much. And then they say, you know, like like pretty much they saying if you don't get on the first, if you don't get through on the first one, then don't fret, my pet. You you might get through. You'll probably get through. It just takes some time. They got to go through. There's a vetting process. They want to make sure that you know that they get the same people. They got a lot of people they're bringing back from last time, and they got a lot of new people that they want to hit up, man. And like I said, the logo, it ain't nothing bad about it. Hey, do your thing. If you're going for a logo, hey, put your heart and soul into it. If you're not going for a logo, uh, then you know it, it is what it is. Just let it be, bro. It ain't no need to hate on somebody that's got a logo. Because 99% of the time when people say people are people is caping for 2K or they doing this or they doing that, they're just really, that genuinely, uh, some people might be genuinely thinking that you caping and that you are doing these things for 2K, but 99% of the time, the other people that are saying something, they are content creators who have yet to get their logo and they want to shame you for having a logo. And I just think that's not right because it's like, look, if that person wants it, let them have it. If they don't want it, let them have it. And if you truly don't want it or you truly don't care, then just shut the f up. Shut the f up. <laughs> I like my boy hard eight times saying, I don't mean that at all. I'm just saying, just let people be, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so much more into my zen after this retreat and just let people be, let them do their thing. And look, it's fine for you to live your life, baby, because I'm going to live mine. So how can I expect you to respect me living my life if I can't let you live yours? That's it. Speaking of living your life, my boy, shy boy, hey. Link in the description. My boy Shot Boy been hooping, man. He said, I love my six, seven point, punk dog. But we're going to go into what the video is really about today. And uh, some people were talking about, they're talking about unpluckable, not working. And then, um, you know, people getting ripped and the plucks and all that good stuff. And uh, Shy Boy says, bro, I never get ripped in, in with uh, 93 ball control and Hall of Fame unpluckable. Boys better learn how to dribble uh unless them locks have you guard um, unless the locks have have your guard on on su on sweet i i guess 
uh when they send when they send the blitz oh oh okay i got it i got it i got it when they send that blitz hey bro a lot of people be a lot of people be in trouble and then here's his proof of the joint bro he just letting you know look look this is an example he said he he reached i uh the unpluckable didn't pop i made my move and got on up out of there. Now, uh, I think he had burnt all this adrenaline at that point in time, but what he's just trying to show you that is, unpluckable does work, but once it works that first time, you may just wanna get on up out of there and uh, and do your thing. You can't just sit there and continue to dribble the ball in the guy's face and, and hope that it works. I'm also seeing, did he protect the ball right there? I don't know if he did. He didn't protect the ball. He, he really just dribbled, dribbled hesitant, and, and went on to the rim. And even though that does work like that, I will tell you that it doesn't work like that all the time, though. And, but this is the thing that killed me right here, that uh, Biggie Burner, he says, you only you only need Hall of Fame unpluckable if you suck at dribbling. 28 playmaking badges is so unnecessary. I'm like, what? And then Shy Boy said, this man said, if you have Hall of Fame unpluckable, you suck at dribbling. Dang, bro, I forgot to start the video yet again. Sorry about that. Uh, you suck at dribbling. No, I need to know what you smoking. That got to be, uh, that, that got you fried like this. These be the people complaining about steals are broken. And he right about that, man. And that's what I'm saying about, I feel that way also about a lot of times when people are complaining about the interior defense. Like you don't have the proper badges or the proper attributes, but yet you still expect a certain result. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. The plucks are somewhat OD. I have been looking at them. Uh, I got a video coming out tomorrow uh, showing, showing, the power of a uh, Hall of Fame glove, and I'm gonna be using silver glove. But I'm gonna, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so many plucks and so many steals and so many bats that you'll be like, dang! I can only imagine what happens with Hall of Fame if you're doing the right thing and stuff like that, man. So y'all be, y'all stay tuned for that, man. Up next, hey, we got the boy badge plug and uh we talking about shooting man let me tell y'all something so like i said i went to the retreat a couple of guys was there you know we talking we talking basketball you know we, obviously 2k come up and they were talking about how shooting is like shooting is tough like look i'm a hardcore gamer so i'm not gonna lie it's nothing to me i've been playing 2k for years but my partner he said I just started back playing 2K this year. He said, I played in 21. I didn't play 22 because I didn't like the left, right. And then he's like, I come back in 23 and now I can't even shoot the ball. So one thing that, and then I was like, yo, you can't shoot the ball. What's it going on? So that, that takes us into, into but bad plug said, if you can't shoot an NBA 2K23, you have to blame yourself and get better. Proof in today's vid, uh, you know, be, be ready. It's gonna be lit. And, uh, and you know, it's gonna be fine. So he probably dropped that yesterday. But one thing I do wanna tell y'all is, bro, I asked him, I said, so what jump shots you using? What base you using? All that. He said, bro, I'm using the default. The default? The default? Bro, that thing got an F impact timing. He didn't know nothing about that. He's like, bro, I don't know. I just went out there and he's like, I'm scoring 40 points a game in my career, but um, I'm not able to, you know, I can't stop nothing. I can't hit no shots when I go to the wreck and stuff. I'm like, bro, first off, you need to get a, you need a shot and I'm gonna give you this shot. I told him what shot to use. I gave him the same James Harden shot that I'm doing. And I'm like, bro, you gotta use something else because you're not going to be able to be successful with that shot. And he was like, yo, I didn't know nothing about it. I never really made no jump shots. I just, but anyway, the point of the fact is that you have to, that we got to, you you gotta be aware of these things. And, but that at the same time, we gotta be aware of these things before we start blaming the game and start, start complaining. But at the same time, there are a lot of people that have no clue that these things are in the game. Like he said, he just, I just made a small for it and I thought it was good enough in my career, so I went out there. So a lot of people don't have any clue. And like, even though he's not on social media, he's not part of the vocal minority, a lot of people are on social media. They are part of the local minority and they will piggyback off somebody like him who really doesn't know anything about the game. So I refer to the Brutal Sim channel because I'm because I'm damn near a gangster on my channel. So I sent in the brute channel and said, find some jump shots over there. Don't come to my channel. Cause like I said, I'm damn near a gangster in real life, my boy. You can't come to my, you can't come to my YouTube. <laughs> anyway, so he gonna go over there to my boy and he gonna get him right. But it's just crazy. And my other guy, he was saying, uh, you know, my guy that looked like Tysino or what have you, he was saying, like, I don't even go online because unless you got a lot of time to put into it, like I play a lot of games, unless you got a real lot of time to put into it, there's no point because uh, in going online because you're not gonna be able to really compete like that. And I just thought it was refreshing to see those two perspectives of people that really don't play the game like that. Those guys are really, really, really casual guys. And I'm like, yo, you think that, you think this is that? Now I have convinced both of them to come out to the park with me 
and we're going to play the game. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying? We're going to see how it goes. If, if, it's, if they trash, they trash. If they not, they not. But they're going to make their characters, and we're going to come out. We might even make a series with that. If y'all want me to make a series with, with that, running with my running with my work partners or something, let me know. We'll do that down in the comment section. But at the same time, then you got guys like Shady Mike Gamer. He says, so your shot timing changes based on how contested your jump shot is. I don't like that at all. You know, they did it because y'all had Zens, bro. That's why they did it. And it causes me a severe amount of misses even with the slider adjustments. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good on the shot timing. Uh, for now, we will go full force ahead with real uh, with real shooting percentages. Like, bruh, but you can't do that online though. Like, like, I, 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 you can't do that online. But like I said, I'm looking at this stuff and I'm trying to look at everything from, from, a, from a, a, a standpoint of people that don't play the game a whole lot. And it's just like, wow, they are really having a tough time. But they need to, like you said, but they don't go to YouTube. So, like most of you guys, if you have a tough time, you're going to come to my channel, come to YouTube, and you're going to see. But what about the people that don't even care about YouTube? They don't even look. Bro, they probably having the toughest time of all. But it's just one of those things where if you don't practice a lot, if you don't play a lot, should you be good? I don't know, man. And then last but not least, we got the real Tony. Uh, the, the real Tony, and he's saying... He's saying NBA 2K23 shot meter is a joke. Bring back the 2K10 and 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 uh, 13 gameplay with real shooting percentages, or bring back 16 and 17 shot meters. Now you got the 16 and 17 shot meters; those are in the game. So I don't know why I don't know why you know why we having issues with that. But if you need a jump shot, my boy T Mills, aka the instant burner, he done dropped y'all one right there. Best green light jump shot for all bills. There it go, right there. Link down in the description. Check it out, boy. And he got that hate ass dude that's back in the comment section talking trash about everything. But like I said, man, and then like uh, last but not least, we got MVP Amazing. He says, shooting is the skill gap in 2K23. And that is a fact. That's one of the skill gaps, man. A lot of people just, just don't know how to do it. Huncho, he says, he, he comes and says, NBA 2K23 is f***ing me off with the new shooting me method. The f like, like I said, bro, we are not having issues with it, but I do want to highlight that some people are having issues with it, but they, and, and obviously these people are on social media, so I don't know why they're complaining, because they can go to youtube.com slash jeezy and get the most premium jump shots. Maybe that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to go down there, and we're going to do, we're going we gonna to test this out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go find people that are having issues with shooting, and I'm going to tag my video under all of them and see see what that happens with that. And we're going to see how they go. Anyway, up next, uh, last but not least, bro, community clips. Hey, we got the boy Laker fan. Here it go. Going to that. Oh, 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 I thought he was going to the rim. He pulled. Oh, I was spitting the night off. Right on, baby. He died like he went. He like a dead bird. Look at this. Oh, oh, with the shot contest. Okay, get it. Throw that thing down, down court. Man, why would you run out, spend the night on it, come back, and with the step back, right out, baby? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. That was tough, Lakers. That's that's tough right there, my boy. I ain't gonna lie. That's that. That might be top two, man. Um, it, it it really it really might be top two for the day. Up next, we got we got another one for y'all, man. Here we go. All right, let me see. He coming through, flexing. <laughs> What, what you gonna do about it, Flexing? Look at that. They go there. This the one where he said they got a reach off going, bro. Like, look at this, bro. This is this is somewhat ridiculous, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He's like, they got a reach off going. And uh, this is just talking about how easy it is if you got the high steal and just get the ball. Let me get that. Two, let me get it back. Pass it. Get the rock. Let me get that. And then you can just let me get that back. Like, I, I even though I feel, and then look, let me get that again. Like, even though I feel like there is there is an issue with it i think the biggest thing is that that you shouldn't be able to do what they just did just now there should never be like a reach off or anything like that it should never be like that that should be a cool i feel like that should be a cool down on reaching like if you reach the first time even though you only get three reaches per possession at the same time i feel like there should be a cool down on it when you reach you should have to or the, maybe the penalty needs to be more severe or something like that maybe the higher your your glove is the more it goes i don't know how they can really balance it but you got to do something to discourage people from reaching now the the good side is not a lot of people going to be able to have glove so uh you know at, le at least not at a high level because they haven't put enough badges on their bill but it just feels like like i don't know what we could really do to discourage 
the reach fence that's happening right now because it is somewhat crazy it is getting out of control and it is somewhat like 2k 22 where people were using reaching as a form of defense i got no problem if you got him menaced up and you got him into one and you put him in that animation where he like looking at the ground and stuff but the ones where they just coming from half court and getting it man i ain't gonna lie they do need they do need a little bit of touch but i don't want them to touch nothing because every time they touch some 2k I always go overboard with it man so let's leave it high there see if we can adjust and adapt and then we'll go from there anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section if you made it this far and you want to be entered into the, the drawing better go watch that Starlito buttermilk video raising with randoms from this week and also put reach in the video uh at the end of your comment put reach in the end of your comment we're giving away fifty dollars worth of vc two times today so we're gonna give away a hundred dollars worth of vc today we will be doing the drawing later on on screen on stream so you got some time to do it and also this will enter you in this one and in the next one let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i'm hot at y'all next time to next time also if you put some hate I'm, I'm, and you and you get picked you're not winning so i'm just letting y'all know that too all right i'm hot at y'all next time to next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's channel Guys, speak.